company cam reports are a great way to share your photos and any information for those photos out with a client as a summary of the job or if you are supplementing to insurance. Reports can be created on the website or in the company cam app. To create your report from the website, log into company cam and choose the project you'd like to create your report from. Then click on the reports tab in the blue create report button. From here, we'll do new report and give our report a title. You'll also choose your page layout, either two, three, or four photos per page. All of this is information you can change once the report has been created. The first thing you'll do is create a new section for your report. All reports will have at least one section. You can add multiple to add additional organization to your report. Now you can rename your section or leave a section one. Under each section, you also have the option for a section summary. This is a great place to leave pertinent information for all of the photos that fall under this section. You can type out information here. You have formatting options like a numbered list or a bullet list, or you can use your text snippets. Once you've added a section summary, start adding your photos for this section. Hit Add Photos. Then choose the photos that you would like to add from your project. You can add multiple photos at one time by selecting the date for the photos or choose individual photos by hovering over the image and selecting the circle in the top left corner of each photo. Once you have your photos selected, hit add photos to the report. And now you can start adding particular information for each photo themselves. Each photo will have a description section to the right hand side. We'll click here, we can type in our individual text. Again, we have the option to format our tests or we can use those text snippets. Now, if you are adding your descriptions or comments to your photos and that is information you'd like to pull into your report, up in the top, you see photo options and you'll have the option to load your photo descriptions as well as any photo comments. This is a great way to speed up your workflow without having to copy and paste any information. Once you have your photo descriptions in, use the plus sign to add additional content like more photos to this particular section or you can create a new section and follow those same steps of adding your photos and any photo description information. Your report will also come with a cover page. If you have your company logo uploaded, we'll make sure to pull that for your report on the cover page. You also have the ability to add a cover photo. Back in our section, I want to set this first photo as my cover photo. So I am going to hover over this and click the set as cover photo. Back in our cover page section, you can see the preview of the cover photo we've just selected. You also have some additional details that you can turn on and off from this page, like the photo count, if you do not want that to show on your report. Your general report settings will live under Manage and Settings. This is where you can change the title of your report. You can add a subtitle. Maybe we want the date the report was created. You can also change your page layout if you want two, three, or four photos per page. You can adjust that from here. You'll also have some photo toggles that you can turn on and off, like the photo captured number, who captured those photos, all options that you can turn on and off by using the toggles on the right-hand side of your screen. Once you have your report settings set, all you have to do is generate your PDF. Click the blue Generate PDF button in the top right corner. This will give you a quick preview of what your report will look like so you can click through each page, make sure you have all of the content and information you need for your report. If everything looks correct, download that PDF. You can now attach this in an email with any other invoice or document information that you are sending out to your client or for an insurance adjuster. If you would like to create reports in the app, we'll follow a very similar workflow. Find the project you'd like to create your report on, then tap on reports or make a report. At the bottom, you'll see the blue add report option, then new blank report. Make sure to give your report a title, then choose your photo layout options, either two, three, or four photos per page. 
hit create report and now you can start building your report you'll always create your first section you have the option to add multiple sections if you want to add additional organization to your report if you want to rename your section tap the gray pencil icon next to section one this will allow you to change the title of that section then you can add a section summary for any important information or findings regarding the photos in this report. This will give you some formatting options if you need to bold or italicize, or if you wanna organize your notes as bullet list or numbered list. You can also load text from any text snippets that you have saved to your text snippet library. Once we've added our section summary, we can start adding our photos to the report. On the app, it will give you two options to either add photos that already exist in your report, or you can take new photos on the spot from the camera. For this, we'll add photos from our current project. Now you can select an entire date range for all of the photos that you'd like to add from the day, or choose individual photos from that date range or multiple ranges in your project. Hit add photos in the top right corner to add those photos into your report. Once your photos are added, each will have a description area where you can add any additional information or context for those particular photos. Tap add a description and from here you can number or bullet list out the information to add that extra bit of organization or use your text snippets to add any information. You also have the option to load in your photo comments and photo descriptions if you've already added that information to your photos. In the top right corner, tap the three dot menu icon, then load photo descriptions or load all photo comments. Once you've added your description information, you can back out to your main report page and start editing your cover page in any report settings themselves. We'll tap on cover page, We'll pull your company logo as long as that's uploaded. You do have some cover display uh, details that you can turn on and off, and we can set our cover page from here if we want to keep that active. Just tap change and choose your cover photo from your project. We'll hit done to save those changes. Now, if we need to make any changes to our report settings, we can tap that three dot menu icon, come into report settings, and from here, we can change the title of the report, add our subtitle, change our page layout, or turn on and off any of our photo detail information. Just hit done to save. When you're ready to send your report out from the app, tap view report in the top right corner. This will take you to your browser so you can get a quick preview of what that report will look like before you share that out with a client or if you're supplementing that to insurance. Scroll through your report, make sure you've got all the information in there that you need. Up at the top, you see the option to share your report as a clickable link, so you can send that in a text message or in an email, or you can download that PDF to your device and attach it in an email with any other information you may be sharing.